We're asked to add rational expressions, but this time we notice that these two expressions do not have a common denominator. So our first thing that we're going to have to do is fix that. So I'm going to rewrite just to give myself a little bit more room than I was given there. And we will have to first get a common denominator between those two. So looking at those two, the 8c and the 3c, they both have a c, so they have that in common. So nothing needs to be fixed as far as that goes. But the numbers, the 8 and the 3, for those we have to get a common denominator. And we do that the same way we would if it was an ordinary fraction. We would find the lowest common multiple between 3 and 8 and use that as our common denominator. And between 3 and 8, that would be 24. So my common denominator is going to be 24C. So then the question is, what do I need to change about that first fraction? Well, in order to turn that 8C into a 24C, I need to multiply by 3. But the only way I can multiply the bottom by 3 is if I also multiply the top by 3. So just to rewrite that first expression, that would be 21 over 24C minus, now for this second expression, I have to get a common denominator there as well of 24C. So for the denominator, I would need to multiply by 8, which means I need to also multiply the top by 8. So that would give me a minus 40 in the top and our 24c in the bottom. So I've gotten a common denominator, I just need to subtract the tops. So I have 21 minus 40, since I've got a larger number being subtracted from a smaller number, that's going to give me a negative and 21 minus 40 gives me 19. So a minus 19 and of course I keep that denominator for addition and subtraction so minus 19 over 24C is our solution.